after you watch your favorite movie or show or anime or cartoon or whatever it is, you got to go look it up. You got to see if somebody reviewed it. You got to see what their opinion is on it. And their opinion might be different than yours. Yeah. And no offense taken to it, but they just attacked them for not liking the movie. And of course that if someone rants on a movie or a video game or anime or a book or a comic book, I don't understand what's the attack, basically. I just don't understand it, but whatever. Um, let me just get to this. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to explain us as reviewers and ranters. Yeah, let's get into it, alright? So, see, we make movie reviews, and if we really like the movie, we praise the shit out of it. Like... I can't help it enough to praise the shit out of Bram Stoker's Dracula. That is a really good movie. I can't help to praise the shit out of Boys in the Hood. And I can't help to praise the shit out of Dr. Giggles. I can't help to praise the shit out of any good movie. And then there's just one of those where I fucking hate to death. And I'll explain. Like, today I was watching The Last Shot with Matthew Broderick and, I guess, Alec Baldwin. Yeah, that movie fucking sucked ass. Like, no lie. That is a terrible piece of dog shit, alright? Fine. It's cool if you like the movie, but just don't attack me for it, okay? And I watched another bullshit movie because it was for free. And I basically got it from CD Trader. And that, of course, is Aliens in the Attic. And let me just tell you something. That movie is complete fucking dog shit. I'd rather be caught jerking off to a porno than being caught watching the movie. That's how fucking terrible and bad it is. And see, movies like that need to be fucking ranted on. Of course, when you have terrible CGI, terrible acting, uh, terrible cinematography and visuals, uh, terrible music in the movie, of course it has to be ranted on. Of course. It has to be just eliminated from society because how bad the film is. Nobody likes Paul Blart Mall Cop, and that's understandable. And, hey, that movie, it has a, a cult following, but I don't really like that movie. Matt does not like the movie. I don't think Mike likes the movie. But you get the point that I'm trying to say is, okay? We rant on these movies for a fucking reason. Alright, so let me just jump back to reviewing it. Well, um, for me, I've been getting better at reviews. I, I stopped saying, you know, and this and this and that. And, yeah, I stopped saying that shit. Like, in the older videos, yeah, I fucking sucked. I'm not going to lie, okay? And even the videos that I uploaded a year ago, I kind of sucked in those a little bit too, but... Hey, I'm getting a lot fucking better now. And I'm talking about more of the movies now. And I think I'm almost getting to, like, the big level. And the big level is when you could review a movie pretty damn good. Yeah, it's fucking awesome, people. But, um, I feel that Matt does not get that much attention. Mike does not get that much attention. Uh, Emer does not get that much attention. He's really good, too. And many more other people that review movies and anime and video games and many other things as well. We do not get that attention. And that's because 
people are just like, they think that we're okay, we're decent. No, we're actually pretty fucking good, alright? Matt, as a reviewer, he makes me fucking happy. And it just comes from the bottom of my heart and the top of my heart. Or let's just say it comes from my whole heart. Because I really mean that. I'm not lying or anything. And Matt, I gotta say Matt is ten times better than me. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I'm not. Matt is a better reviewer than anybody, okay? Hell, he's even better than that guy with the glasses, okay? I can't complain enough about that guy with the glasses. Yeah, I did two fucking rants, so what? But I gotta say, Matt is the fucking best, okay? You take Matt away, no fucking YouTube, okay? Because YouTube is boring without Matt. I'm not going to sit here and lie about that. I mean, the guy is more entertaining than any professional reviewer that gets fucking paid. Just saying, though. I'm just saying. He's a lot better. He knows... Uh, to pinpoint um, the acting, how the movie is, uh, if the movie is entertaining or not, and it's just about that, okay? What, a review is just going to be biased against the movie and say that it's a really good movie, when of course Matt is an honest person. Matt will tell you straight out if the movie is good or not. But just saying. He'll tell you if the movie is super good or just downright a terrible piece of dog vomit. He's not going to sit here and lie to you, okay? Same for Mike. Mike is a really good reviewer too. I like him too. He's a fucking awesome reviewer. Really, he's really awesome. I love his reviews. I think they're good, and I love trash cinema. But the thing is, of course, that people are going to attack him for making trash cinema, and of course, that they really like those films. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you people, but I do This Movie Sucks, and that's almost the same thing like tra trash cinema, but... I would say Trash Cinema is a lot more better than This Movie Sucks. I mean, all of This Movie Sucks is explaining sucky um, things about the movie. Like, if the story sucks, and the acting, and the writing, and the dialogue, and the cinematography, and visuals, and the music, and the movie itself. Basically. But yeah, it's, it's basically almost the same thing like trash cinema but I like both I like that I do this movie sucks and I like that Mike does trash cinema I really love trash cinema but I mean to extent let me just explain this the only reason why I make this movie sucks is because the movies really fucking suck that I watched okay like let me take for instance Paul Blart Mall Cop yeah, that movie really sucked ass. I'm sorry. It was a fucking disappointment. And none of the less, it was a Home Alone and Die Hard ripoff in a fucking mall. Very boring movie. But let me get back to this, okay? Mike is a good reviewer. And also Helsing920 Emer. Or Emmer, however you say it. Emmer is a good reviewer too. As he does his reaction for the movie, and he does the review, and, and be's honest with you how the movie really is. If he hates the movie, of course people are going to attack him for it. Okay, I'm just going to use a fucking example. Okay, let's say if it's one of the Hunger Games movies, but I don't think he watched that yet. But you get the fucking point, Okay. Somebody's going to go over there, they're going to attack him, they're going to troll him, whatever the fuck. Okay, and he's a good reviewer too. 
But oh, if it's that guy with the glasses, yeah. If it's that guy with the glasses and they're being biased in their fucking reviews, they're trashing the movie and then at the end they're saying that they like the movie. No, that's not a fucking review. That's just a fucking rant, okay? I'm sorry. That's not even a fucking review. That's a rant, okay? And I'm sick and tired of that guy with the glasses getting a lot of fucking praise from people. And it's not even that fucking great in the first place. What, you only had a few good people, or, yeah, only a few good people that was on that guy with the glasses. Let's count. Okay, what? You had Brad Jones, Cinema Snob. You had Angry Joe. And you had Lynn Cara. And you had Erod. And you have uh, Phalus, okay? Yeah, but his stuff started to decline too, so... Yeah, when Phalus was good back then, but still. You only had five good reviewers on there, and the rest was just complete dog shit. Like, do I have to mention Nostalgia Critic? He just loves to rant on the movie, and then at the end say... Oh, well, the movie was enjoyable. It was good. Oh, but you attack everything else. Okay, you fucking attack everything else, buddy. Okay? <coughs> <coughs> See, that's what, that's what I'm trying to get at here. Okay? Just saying, though, but I'm not going to talk about that guy with the glasses anymore. Let's just move on to biased reviewers. Yeah. Biased reviewers... Say it will say that the movie is good just so that you could just go see it and then it's a horrible film. Like, I brought into the hype of Kick Ass and damn, uh, for me, it was a terrible fucking movie. It was boring, it wasn't really a superhero. How The Dark Knight Returns was okay and is. Yeah, because that movie is more of a superhero movie, and it hits serious points other than Kick-Ass or The Watchmen, which both of those movies was supposed to be like The Dark Knight Returns animated two movies. <sighs> wow. But I'm just saying, though, like, people were biased for that movie, and people were saying, oh, well, it's a good movie, you should go watch it. But here's the thing, though. The review was done by paid reviewers, okay? That um, make, I guess you would say, let me get it out. I'm sorry, people. That make about this much an hour, I guess, or they make this much. And, and, like, maybe, like, three hours, I guess. Yeah. But anyways, let me, let me get on to the rants, okay? Um, the rants are really good. When people rant on something, that's when uh, you really enjoy it. Because you want to see people angry. You do. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I love to see people angry over something so stupid. Okay, if somebody was to rant on a comb. <laughs> yeah. If somebody was to rant on a comb. I mean, because how pointy it is and that um, the comb teeth is not right on here. Yeah. Or a lighter won't light. I really like that. And especially on movies and video games. And some animes and mangas and whatever the fuck. I like it, okay? And I'm just going to tell you something. We have to attack it, whatever the fuck it is. And if we don't like it and it's dog shit, then hey. We have every right to attack it. We have every right to rant on it. We do. If we don't like the product and we don't like what it is, we have to rant on it. Simple as that. We have to get our anger out. Because 
for me, I love getting my anger out, and I feel so much better when I do. But, um, it's just so hard to basically get people to, to view your rants. Because, yeah, at first there's only going to be like a few people that watch it, and then you notice that there's more people to watch it. Um, ranting is not that hard to do. It's it's easy. Okay, just pick whatever the fuck you hate and rant however you want towards it. If, if you hated the fucking writing, hey, you, you hated the fucking writing. If you hated the movie itself, hey, you hate the movie itself. If you hated everything about the movie or video game or anime, hey, you're entitled to your opinion. Um, just don't let the trolls get to you. Don't let um, the haters get to you. Because, see, it's mostly the haters, too. They're jealous that you are making reviews and rants. And they get jealous if you talk shit about one of their beloved franchises. Yeah, grow the fuck up. Seriously, grow the fuck up, okay? I don't have enough time to troll, and I don't have enough time to be a hater, because, hey, um, at least I get out of the house and I make this. See this? I make this happen. Yeah. See, because if I was sitting here all day, then I wouldn't have this, and I would probably only have this. And I don't really want this, to be honest with you, because this is puny. Yeah, but basically when you go see your Hunger Game movies or your, your Christopher Nolan movies, you, you don't have this much as I do. Okay, I'm just saying, though, you don't have this much as I do. And Jimma 99 and TGO Professor doesn't even have this much money. What, they only have probably like, let me just get it. They probably only have this much money. Okay, they only probably have that much money. But hey, you know, that's them. They they just waste their, their um, precious time on here. Whereas me, where Jim on 99 thinks that I waste my time. Uh, I love to make money, okay? Is there a problem with that? No, there's not a fucking problem with that. Because I bust my ass for a fucking living. Okay, this house would not fucking last. I'm just saying, it would not fucking last. See, I would have been nowhere right now, but look, I'm here. I'm fucking here. And sorry if I don't um, comment that much, but it's because I'm trying to make this, okay? I'm trying to fucking make this. I'm sorry to all my subs, but I'm really trying to make this so I could have a good living. I'm not saying that money is more important than you, but I'm saying it's more important for me to make money and live here, and I'm going to move out pretty soon. I don't know when that is, but... Yeah, they said I had enough time to um, pack my stuff, and basically uh, try to find a house and move into that new house. Which I'm hoping that new house is a lot better than this house. Everything is fucking falling apart. I'm not on topic, I'm sorry, but I just have to bring this up real quick. Um, everything is falling apart in this house, and that's why the fuck I want to move out of it. Basically. Like, everything is not manageable, everything is, like, whatever. But, um, you get the point, okay? You get the fucking point. I, I already explained the two things as it is enough. Um, anyways, this video has been going on for way too long. I'm sorry that I talked about the problems, but I am out. Peace.